absolutely unbelievable wrapping up the 2019 London Marathon live here in the studio. I've been standing for the last three hours, so I'm a little tired and my ho my voice is a little hoarse because I was commentating live on the, I watched the entire race, men and women. I'm gonna break it down for you right now. And uh, yes, if you're new, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. This is a daily running vlog channel. I publish a new running vlog every single day. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. It was amazing, absolutely epic. What a race. And let's break down the women's field first, the women's elite field first. Uh, it went out at a good uh, a good pace, but it wasn't blazing fast, unlike last year at the 2018 London Marathon when Mary Katani took it out crazy fast trying to chase down a world record. Uh, it was not like that this year. By the way, I should mention the temperatures seem to be really good in like the 50s uh, degrees Fahrenheit range. So not too hot, not too cold, uh, according to reports on the ground. And uh, basically, uh, let's see. So Mary Katani was never in the lead. Uh, for a while, it was Vivian Chariot, uh, Bridget uh, Koskai, and Rosa Dorej, and Gladys Chirono. Those were kind of, that was kind of the lead pack for quite a while. Uh, then at some point, uh, Vivian uh, and Bridget, so both from Kenya, Vivian Chariot and Bridget Kosgai broke away. Uh, and then eventually, Bridget Kosgai from Kenya, who took second place at the 2018 London Marathon. She ended up putting the pedal down around, I would say, about mile 20, so about six miles to go. She, 10K to go, she really put a surge in and ended up breaking Vivian uh, Chariot, but Chariot did fight back a little bit, but ended up fading even more. Um, and so here you go. Third place, Rosa Darej of Ethiopia in 2.20.51, all right? Great time for Rosa Darej. And moving on to Vivian Chariot, she was last year's champion. She finished in second this year. So based in 2.20.14. 2014 so she almost broke into the teens but not quite and then last year so basically from 2018 to 2019 first and second place uh swapped positions how cool is that like bridget so bridget uh kazgi uh Kazgai is 25 so she's young uh so she's got a lot of marathon racing ahead of her so she ran as the 2019 London Marathon champion, 218.20, 218.20. And so overall on the women's race, it was it was an exciting race. Not quite as exciting as the men's race. We're gonna get to that in just a second. But oh, I'd say that they they battled. I was a little surprised that Mary Katani didn't stick her nose in it a little bit more. So she finished in fifth behind uh, Chirono Gladys in or Gladys Chirono in fourth. So Mary finished with a 220.58, and again, Bridget Kosgai uh, in 218.20, and apologize if I'm not pronouncing the names correctly. And then the first American with her American debut, 223.08 for Emily Sisson. Oh my goodness, I believe that is the second fastest American debut at the marathon distance in, in US history. Emily Sisson, watch out. This is her marathon debut. Uh, and then, okay, I so the lady who took the race out fast, she finished in 224.11. That's a PR for her. She is from Australia, uh, Sinead Diver. So anyway, and I think she's originally from Ireland. I don't know her whole story, but anyway, Emily Sisson, congrats. 223.08 for an opener. And I will just mention, yeah, I okay. The first uh, Great Britain runner was Charlotte Perdue with a 225.38 solid time. I don't know where that ranks for her as far as PRs. All right, so that's the women's field. It was exciting. Moving on to the men's field. How do I even begin to break this down? Um, basically, it was a pack of 12 for a long time. A pack of 12. And I would say it started to break up. Um, I'm just trying to re replay it in my mind. Probably around, oh, I want to say like mile 16 to 18, it roughly. Don't quote me on that, but I'm just trying to go off of memory where it probably went from 12 
down to, you know, maybe 8 to 10. And for the entire race, Mo, Sir Mo Farah uh, from Great Britain, he was never up front. So you know who was up front the entire race. Uh, setting, Not setting the pace, but... Uh, well, yeah, setting the pace, but the pace, so there were three pacers at the front of the men's, uh, of the men's race, and they were, they were leading Kipchoge, um, let me just pull up the names here, Kipchoge, uh, Garembu, Wasuhun, Katata, uh, Tola, Abdi, Gebrselassie, uh, they were basically led by these three pacers, but Kipchoge, of course, was right, right behind the pacers. I just don't know if anybody is if everyone's just a little, uh, like they just respect Kipchoge so much that they won't go ahead of him, but he was right there in front the entire time, uh, and Mo Farah was at the back of that lead pack. Basically, he was in 12th pay place for most of the race, and then when the pace started to pick up, especially at about mile 20, so 10K to go, six miles to go, that's when a gap was made from 10 meters to 50 meters to eventually it ended up being about 400 meters from the lead pack. Well, it actually, it got bigger than that, but for a while, uh, Mo was about 400 meters back from the top five. So in the top five, uh, with, let's say, let me just think here, with about five to six K to go, it was Kipchoge, Garembu, so Kipchoge from Kenya, and so it was Kipchoge, the one Kenyan, and then there was four Ethiopians around him. Uh, and not in front, not on the side, just like a, like a fly, it's like right around him. And so it was uh, Mozanet, Garemu, uh, Mule, Wasahun, Tola, Katata, and then uh, it was one more, I think it was Tam uh, yeah, Tamarat, Tola. Uh, those, were, those were the four Kenyans around uh around Kipchoge and at mile oh man well twice I saw on the screen Kipchoge be like okay uh, you want to race let's go meaning like come up and race with me don't just sit on my shoulder or sit behind me and make me do all the work once the pacers dropped off Kipchoge twice I saw him go like okay come on let's do this like let's race and none of them really none of them really could I think go ahead of him even if they wanted to so they basically uh garemu sh uh sat on kipchoge's shoulder for i would say uh two miles at least just sat right on his shoulder right behind his left shoulder and it looked like kipchoge looked a little not mad but he looked like he, he at <laughs> later in the race he was eventually smiling like he always does but at a certain point he almost looked a little annoyed that there wasn't a little more uh, a little more jockeying, like basically somebody coming up to run right next to him or, but at the same time, like who's going to challenge him, right? So anyway, that's a little bit how the men's race played out. And then with, uh, 1k to go, 1500 meters, approximately, boom, drop the hammer, boom, there goes Kipchoge. It was, uh, I want to say it was about a K to go. I could be wrong on that. It was around there. He got a bottle took a drink, threw it down, and boom, Garemu could not go with him. And I called it, though. I did say that when there was four uh, Ethiopians around Kipchoge, I said Garemu is going to go with Kipchoge. And sure enough, he was the last one to survive and go with Kipchoge uh, to the finish line. So here you go. Kipchoge, your 2019 London Marathon winner in 20237 what and second place not far behind Mozanet Garemu who i believe is 27 so he's a lot younger than Kipchoge in 20255 two guys under 203 at the London Marathon that my friends is a big deal this course is fast but it's definitely not as fast as Berlin um, probably not quite as fast as Chicago so anyway two guys under 203 that is a big deal watch out for Mozanet Garemu from Ethiopia who ran I mean he was uh, less than 20 seconds behind Kipchoge so they were they were close I mean, right up until the last K, basically. And But, I mean, Kipchoge looks so smooth. I don't think anybody was going to outkick him. And then in third place, Mule Wasahun, 
uh, in 2:03:16, which I think was about a two-minute PR for him from the Amsterdam Marathon last October uh, in 2018. So huge shout out. So it went Kenya, Ethiopia, 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 Great Britain. So Mo Farah finished in fifth in 205.39. All right. And then a little shout out to Callum Hawkins, who ran 208.14, a huge comeback for him after last year. And uh, that was, I believe, about a four minute PR for Callum Hawkins, who is also from Great Britain. That was amazing. What a race. A race, seriously, for the ages. I mean, listen, Kipchoge's not getting any younger. I think he has a lot of marathons left in him. I, I mean, I would say at least three years of solid high high end marathons but it was really special to watch him oh my goodness i forgot to mention this is his fourth victory at london that is a, he i believe yeah he's the first male ever to win london four times absolutely amazing congrats to elliot kipchoge to the 2019 london marathon what a race thank you all for being here thanks for listening to that here in the times it was so fun again hit that subscribe button if you want more videos like this and we're going to be doing a lot more uh not just the six major marathons london uh chicago new york berlin tokyo and boston but i want to do some live streaming for rotterdam for hamburg oh my gosh the hamburg marathon was today as well that's crazy hamburg la um uh, just some lesser known big marathons that are still really fast but anyway we're gonna be doing more of this so hit that subscribe button i love you guys thanks for being here seek beauty work hard and love each other oh i'm amped see you tomorrow